Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. You may have noticed in a few of my most recent videos that involve scuba diving that there are never any bubbles in my face. Well, let me show you what I did to solve that problem. What I've got here is the Aqualung Micra Adjustable Regulator. This sucker is almost 20 years old now, as long as I've been diving, and um, it used to have a horrible problem of blowing bubbles straight up in your face because the exhaust uh, was such low profile that it had nowhere to go, of course, but straight up right into your face. So what I did was I engineered and 3D printed a side exhaust here with an extension tube to solve the bubbles in the face problem. The side exhaust that I have here features a very stubby 5 8 ID exhaust extension. This is so that I could then hose clamp a tube on it if I wanted to and pipe the exhaust bubbles all the way back up. But I also decided to print a short extension tube to simply slide on the end of this. And you can see this in my videos. So that it looks like that. That way, once it's in my mouth, the bubbles come out at least three inches away from the center of my face. And usually when they're out here, it's not a problem, unless my head is, of course, turned this way. But it works out really, really well. And one interesting thing is that this is all just PLA. Uh, I printed on a MakerBot on low res, and PLA seems to have absolutely no trouble in water, at least in the short term. I have a long-term test going on over there that's been in water for the last four weeks, and that part seems to be just fine. But the salt water, uh, for no more than I was in it, seemed to have no effect whatsoever on PLA. And this was a two-shell print, and it seemed to be completely watertight. So I was really, really pleased. But that's what I did to solve the bubbles in the face problem. You could do something very similar to yours. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.